Hi everyone, how you doing? Uh, today we're gonna be making uh, sweet potato gnocchis. You will be needing, uh, obviously, sweet potato. I wanna say about 16 to 20 ounces of sweet potato. Uh, I wanna say it's probably a large one and a small one. Depends on how big it is, but if you have a way to measure it, uh, if you have a scale, use it, and you add up more or less, like I said, 18 to 20 ounces, uh, 16 to 20 ounces of sweet potato. As having the sweet potato, you're gonna need two cups of uh, all-purpose flour. You're gonna need a whole garlic. You're gonna need uh, half a tablespoon, half a teaspoon, I'm sorry, of nutmeg and half a teaspoon of salt. Um, and I'll be showing you more or less how we're gonna be making uh, the dish little by little, all right? Thank you. So the first step you wanna take is you wanna grab the sweet potato, you wanna peel it. Uh, after peeling it, you wanna chop it into a few pieces and putting that into a boil in some hot water. Remember, like I always tell you, add some salt to the water, uh, bring it to a boil, then you're gonna add on the sweet potatoes into the water so you can soften them and then you can work with them a little bit better. After that, you're also going to um, grab the garlic, the whole garlic, and you're gonna mince it and you're gonna chop it up. You're gonna get, it, get the skin off and chop it all up as much as you can. Now that your sweet potatoes are all uh, boiled up, you're gonna put them in a container and you're gonna let them get cold uh, or to some room temperature. So it's easier for you to work with. Hi everyone. So now we're gonna be making meatballs. This time I wanna be using lamb. So we're gonna be making lamb meatballs. Uh, as far as the seasoning, we're gonna be using salt. Yes, of course. Uh, we're gonna be using a little bit of garlic. Uh, some onion powder, some uh, ground leg of oregano, some ground sage, and some curry to um, season it. So we're gonna get the lamb out of the container. You're gonna place it on a plate on a plate. After so, we're gonna start adding. You wanna flatten it a little bit so you can kind of spread it. And then it's easier for you to mix it up. Oh, I forgot, there's two things that we're gonna need as well. Give me one second. We're gonna use, uh, to make the meatballs, we're gonna use a little bit of mascarpone cheese. Uh, that's as far as what goes inside the meatballs and uh, some heavy whipping cream. Let's start seasoning this baby's up. A little bit of salt. I would say about a tablespoon, uh, sorry, about a teaspoon or one and a half tablespoon, teaspoons. A little bit of garlic. Onion powder. Some sage to freshen up the flavor. Oregano, also to brighten up the dish. As far as the curry, you, that's probably the one that you want to use the least amount of. This curry is very, very strong as far as flavor. So just a little bit of curry, maybe like half a teaspoon. And you're gonna see the color, it brightens up the color of the meatballs a lot. 
So we're gonna grab the mascarpone cheese. Just about a quarter of the container. A little bit more, about a about a tablespoon, full tablespoon. All right. Okay, and just a small splash of heavy cream. Perfect. And then now we have this ready. We mix it up. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna start to uh, make the meatballs. Whenever you have the meatballs ready, start placing them uh, on a sheet pan, more or less like this. Cover it up with um, with foil so it's a little bit less messy. Instead of foil, you could also use um, parchment paper. It works just as good. Um, this is a non-stick foil, that's why it's a little bit easier. Uh, make sure you put a little bit of oil to uh, avoid any sticking of the meatballs. I'm already preheating the uh, the the oven at 350 degrees. It's gonna take about 20 uh, to 25 minutes to cook the meatballs, and I'll show you what that looks like. Shortly, I'm, I'll show you while I make the, uh, the meatballs now. So now the meatballs are made. So what we're going to do is we're going to put it in the oven, uh, like I told you, 350 degrees for about uh, 20 to 25 minutes, more or less. And they should be ready within that time. I'll come back and show you the result uh, in a little bit. Also, in a second, you'll, I'll be also working on the sauce we're going to be doing for this. And then I'll show you the ingredients and everything we need and how we make it shortly. So now we're getting over to the gnocchi. Oh, this is my son, Mason. Uh, we're getting over to the gnocchis. We're going to get started with them. Uh, as far as the gnocchi, we're going to use the sweet potato that we had made earlier. We're going to try to smash it. You want to help me, Mason? Get up here. So mash it. Hold this so you don't, so it doesn't make noise. Smash it all before we get to having to put everything that goes in it. Get it smashed. Remember, we boil this to get it nice and soft. Now we now we start to mix it all. Mix. So we're gonna add the garlic. Remember the whole garlic. We're gonna add the nutmeg. So we added everything, all the spices that we needed to. Now we're gonna add on a special extra ingredient that I forgot to tell you guys about. A little bit of the mascarpone cheese that we used for the, uh, for the meatballs. We're gonna add it onto here as well. Okay, uh, just to kind of give us a little bit of extra creaminess. How about a, how about a tea, uh, about a teaspoon of it is more than enough. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna mix it up. I'm gonna mix it up for a little bit. In a second, I'm gonna have to use my hand because I find it to be a lot easier, but let me just mix this up completely. Everything is nice and soft, so it's gonna give it an extra texture. It's going to be the mm. smells good. It's going to be the um, the flour. We haven't added the flour yet. We're gonna add the flour very little by little, so we finish getting that texture that we want and the firmness that way we can make the gnocchis happen. So remember, we're gonna add it little by little. We're gonna add a little bit now. 
Yeah. Keep mixing. Huh? A little bit fun. It's fine. We're going to mix this up nice and slowly. Add a little bit more. And keep on mixing. Oops. Oh my god. Oh, don't worry about if you spill a little bit of the of the flour, because anyways you're gonna have to use flour. You're gonna you need a, a surface to make the monkeys on. So you could use it as an, as an excuse to keep your messy mess messy. So this is the time where it's easier to use your hands. Remember to be have your hands clean. My hand, I washed my hands right before I started to do this, so just get to it. A little bit more flour. Remember, you put two um, cups of flour on the side for this. You don't. You might not need the whole amount. It really depends on what you think your the texture, the consistency of it is at the point um, of you finishing up the product. However, you may need more, you may need less, it depends. It's also your, cri your own criteria. So it's still very, very sticky. So obviously it needs a little bit more flour. You want the flour to go in there. Mason, give me an egg, please. An egg? Yes. Yeah. From the kitchen, from the fridge. Forgot one thing. We need to add an egg. The egg is gonna help it. Yes, the help is gonna help us. The egg is gonna help us to get everything stuck together. So, we got our egg in there. Everything is getting mixed up nicely. Yeah, this is going to be the gnocchi. Keep on mixing. Make sure you get all of that flour in there as much as you can. So all those ingredients come to life and can create these beautiful phenomenal gnocchis. So he already got bored. He got bored of doing this. So no, I didn't. He already said he'll be back, so I know what that means. Is both Hold on, baby. I think I'm gonna have to grab a little bit more flour. What'd you say? Are these peas inside? Yes. Cooking. The rag over there behind you. Give me the rag. This. Yes. So I'll I'll keep working on the gnocchis and I'll show you guys um, how I how I finish the dough and how I start shaping up the gnocchis in a second. Let me just kind of get uh, fast forward this a little bit because if I keep recording it'll take you guys a while. So let me make it easy make it easier for you guys. So while we have the dough kind of resting up a little bit and absorbing all the good flavors uh, for the gnocchis, we're going to start to make our sauce. The sauce will end up combining it um, with the meatballs that we're working on. The sauce is nice and delicious. It's going to have a very interesting, delicious flavor to it. Uh, we're going to make it. The base is going to be coconut milk. Okay. Aside from the coconut milk. Before I forget, obviously, we're gonna head back to the mascarpone to add the creaminess to it. 
you're gonna uh if you have an electric kitchen put it on like number four so it could slowly cook you don't want to burn the coconut milk And we're going to put whatever you have remainder of the mascarpone cheese. So the reason why I'm using coconut milk is for the flavor. Uh, you could also use heavy cream, but like I said, it is a matter of flavor because I think the coconut milk alongside with the gnocchis and the lamb meatballs are going to be a home run. A delicious Very delicious home yes, very well said, Mason. So we leave that cooking. You add the mascarpone cheese to melt. And then you want it to melt that way, kind of um, all the flavors absorb. The, the, so the milk absorbs the flavor of the mascarpone cheese, and the mascarpone cheese absorbs the flavor of the coconut milk. Soon after that happens, we are going to um, be adding some sweet peas that I was boiling. Okay, some green peas. We're gonna uh, add them onto here. That way everything meshes together just fine. And then after the sauce is made, it, which will be about the same time as the meatballs will be ready, what we're gonna do is we're gonna add the meatballs onto the um, onto the sauce, okay? So I'll show you what that looks like in just a few. Now that the uh, the cheese has melted, now we added on the peas, and then we let that simmer, very low heat. Let it simmer for a few minutes, while the meatballs are ready. So meatballs are ready. Uh, what we're gonna go ahead and do is go go ahead and take the meatballs out. Okay, now, and once we get them out, we're gonna just put them inside the sauce that we've been uh, simmering for a couple minutes. Super beautiful color, they are incredibly delicious. We're gonna go ahead and start placing them in here with the coconut milk, the, the peas, and the mascarpone cheese. So here we go. Just to get the flavor, the creaminess, and everything all mixed up together. That way, once we have the gnocchis ready, the dish is fully prepared. Um, the main reason why I put the uh, the piece in here is to give it the, a bright color, given the fact that there's a contrast between colors, it'll give it a nice little, it'll brighten out the dish for the eyes quite a bit. So, now that the uh, meatballs are in here, they're cooking. They're absorbing all the flavor from the sauce, and the other way around too. The sauce is absorbing all the flavor from the meatballs, and we get to mix them up a little bit, and so we can have the dish ready in just a few minutes. Just let it simmer while we make the gnocchis. The gnocchis will be made momentarily, our dough is fully ready. I would say like another 15, 20 minutes. That's it, about the time that it will take us to make the gnocchi. So I'll be right back with you guys and show you what the result is. By the way, before I forget, something that's very important. Uh, I've been keeping the um, the containers of everything that I've used. I've washed them all. And you know what for? To recycle. Don't forget to please recycle. Very important to recycle. Uh, Obviously, it helps the world, and whatever little bit we can do, we will, and we shop. Thank you so much. Any questions, as always, please feel free, feel free to ask me. Now we're going to go ahead and start making the gnocchis. I'll show you that in a second. Now, get ready for the gnocchi. So, our gnocchis are ready. What we're gonna do is gonna start to boil them 
you're gonna boil them, you're gonna put them to boil for about 10 minutes, maybe a little bit less, or until the dumplings kind of come up from the water. The moment that they come up, you know that they're ready. Uh, just start throwing them in there, little by little. Be careful, safety above all. Yeah. Fall in there, and little by little they start to come up, like I told you. And then in a second I'm, moment I'm done with this, I'm going to show you what the sauce is starting to look like. Beautiful flavor. I'm sorry, beautiful smell. The flavor I guarantee is about just as good as it smells. So now dumplings are in, the gnocchis are cooking. Like I said, they'll be ready. They'll let you know when they're ready, they'll start to pop up on the water. And the sauce is working. The sauce is pretty much ready. You can just put it to cool down a little bit so it kind of reduces a little bit. And it'll be phenomenal. I think it'll be perfectly done the moment that the, the moment that the uh, Gnocchis are ready, so see you guys in the So now the gnocchis are ready, so is the sauce, everything has finished. Now I'm going to plate everything, I'll show you what everything looks like in just a second. But like I told you, they start to pop up and that's when you know they're ready, so we'll get them out. So after a lot of waiting and a lot of cooking and a lot of prepping and a lot of cutting and a lot of chopping and a lot of everything, we have finally got our finished product and here it is. Sweet potato gnocchi, lamb meatballs, and a curry coconut sauce. So, hope you guys enjoyed watching as much as I enjoy cooking this. And trust me, I enjoy this eating a whole lot more. Mmm. 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 Mm. Mm. Home run. Please comment, like, subscribe, tell everybody and anybody that you know about my channel. I'm trying to grow it. So whatever help you can do, please, by all means. Um, and more than anything, please enjoy my dishes. And if you can apply them, learn something from them, I'll be very, very happy. Any questions, concerns, please let me know. I'll be more than glad to answer any anything that you may want to know. Thank you so much. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. And eat up. Let's get the world healthy one bite at a time. Bye-bye.